Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a website in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So you are going to be able to build a website from purchasing your hosting to setting up everything and launching your website in less than 10 minutes. Without much ado, let's hop onto my laptop. In order for you to build a website, the first thing you need is hosting. Hosting is essentially where all your website files are going to be stored. So, the first hosting option I recommend is Hostinger. You see they have these very, very juicy plans here. You can click on this plan. It gives you up to 100 websites. If you're going with Hostinger, choose this. And then it takes you to the card. Now you can see, if you choose for 48 months, it gives you a discount. When you come now here, you can see you are paying $143. If you use the link I provide in the description of this video, you will get an even bigger discount. The second option is A2 Hosting. A2 Hosting is also very, very fast. It's a little bit more expensive than Hostinger, but it does a pretty good job. The link is also in the description for you to get A2 Hosting. My third recommendation is wpx.net this one is more expensive but it's one of the fastest hosting providers mind you if you use any of these hosting providers i make a little affiliate bonus it helps me continue to make videos like this for this tutorial we are going to be going with hostinger so if i choose this 48 month plan all i need to do is to create my account put all my credentials here and then I can choose my payment platform, either PayPal or credit card or Google Pay or Alipay, submit payment and go to checkout. And then you're going to come to an interface like this. You can come and choose your domain name. They are going to give you a free domain name. So you can get a domain name from here and it's going to be free when you purchase hosting. In my case, I already have a domain name. I want to install WordPress on it. So I'll just come to my hosting provider to my hosting here and i already have a subdomain which i want to install wordpress on and this is it tutorial.donodio.com so i'm going to come to website come to auto installer you see where it says wordpress select that and then give my website a name let's say tutorial or whatever the name of your company of your business and then your email you can see what then your credentials your username and your password you can give it whatever it is you desire password whatever it is and then you want to choose the installation path tutorial.com all of these leave them the way they are go ahead see never i won't save that install wordpress overwrite i already have a wordpress installation there when you install WordPress, you are brought to an interface like this. Just click on Admin Panel. So you see, it brings me to the dashboard of my website. I don't want all of this, so I'll come to, first of all, to Appearance and Themes. I want to delete all of this. I'll delete this, delete this. And I want to search for a theme. It's called Astra. Search it there, Astra. And this is it. I'll go ahead and install it. Now Astra is installed, activated. Yes, it's activated and it's asking you to build with AI. We will not build with AI, but go ahead and install starter templates. So now that starter templates is installed, and activated is asking you whether you want to build with AI. No, build with template. Now we'll have to open our dashboard, our WordPress website dashboard on a new page. I'll open it on a new page. I want to go to plugins. I'll first of all delete these three up here. I don't need them. Deactivate. Now I'll delete them. I will delete them 
and I want to add a new plugin called Elementor. It's a pitch builder. This is Elementor install. And then activate. Elementor is now activated. Now let's go back to this page. I'll click on dismiss. I want to reload this page. Now you see if I choose on block editor, I can choose which editor I want to use. I'll choose Elementor. It's going to give me templates related to Elementor. So all of these are Elementor templates which I can use. Now, not all of them will pertain or will apply to you because you are not doing everything. So in case you can filter the templates, some of them are premium. This one where you see premium, you need to have Astra Pro in order to use that. So if you're a business person, you can, maybe you're an agency owner, you can filter by agency and you can choose which, whatever one it is. If it's a personal site or you're a professional, let's say you're a lawyer, you can filter by lawyer. So these are law templates. Let me reload. So when I filter by law, you can see all of these templates. Not all of them are law related because you can see this outdoor adventures and this one catches my attention. I can click on it. You can see this is the home page. This is the home page. This is what you get right off the bat. If you have your logo, you can upload it here. For now, I don't have a logo, so I'll just click on continue. So it's going to ask me if I want to add donations, automation, integration, sales funnels, video player, free live chat, and all that. I'll say skip this step. And then you can add all your information here for the marketing funnel. I will not do that. Just leave it as it is and click on submit and build my website. It's going to go ahead and start building your website. When it's done, you see this confetti effect. It says, congratulations, view your website. I'll click on view my website and it loads. You can see this is my website right off the bat on the front end. So it's looking pretty good. We can edit a lot of this. We can change a lot of this. You see the logo here is not showing. Let's click on customize. So when you come to the header builder, you can select your site title and your logo. Let's see if this one is not showing. We can change this. Click on change logo. And then you have, we can use this one and skip cropping. That one has a white background. You see it now shows here and make sure to publish that. Let's go back to the front end of the website. Let's go to visit site and edit with Elementor. Edit with Elementor. You see Elementor shows you this. Continue with the power of AI. You can click on continue. Whatever it is you don't want here, you can change. For example, this background image, you can click on these six dots and come to the background and you can change this image. You can put whatever images it is that you desire there. If you have a better one, you can put it there. You can change the image as you so desire. It is all up to you. Let's say if I wanted to put this image here, I can select that and insert. You see the image here has changed and the pictures are here to, to load. I'll come back and put this image back there. You can change text. You can change this text. Maybe you want to add an exclamation mark there. You can add that. You can change all of these text. Just click on it. You can change the icon. You can change the icon here. Click and come to icon library. You can put whatever it is that you desire there. You can change the logos. You can change the logos. Let me update this and reload this page. Okay. So the changes I made were not showing. You can see the logo, the icon I changed there. If you have logos of your past clients, you can use them to change this and all of this. Now, let's come to the footer. Before then, you see even this image here, we can go ahead and change it. Maybe not changing the image itself, but maybe we want it, this guy to be more visible. We can come to the background overlay and then you reduce the opacity. 
you see, when I reduce it, it's more visible. How do you change the footer? Let's come to customize, back to a customize, and you go back. Let's go to footer builder. You can change whatever it is you desire here. You can click on anything and change it. Click on got it. And then you, this is the text. It's Lorem Ipsum. The same here. You can go ahead and change this. You can change all of this. You can also change this. You can also change this. Let me scroll back down. And even this, you can change that. You can change all of that. So, you may be asking, where do I get pictures for my website? You can come to free stock image websites like Pexels and Pixabay. You can even come to Flat Icon if you are looking for vectors for your website. So, all of these are totally free. So, the choice is yours. Change whatever it is you want. You can change the color here. Request appointment. Click on that button. Come to style. The background. The background of this picture we want to change it. You can make it red. You can make it black. You can make it green. Whatever you desire. The choice is all yours. So go ahead and make the changes on your website. Now we have other pages on this website. I'll leave. I don't want to see if those changes. Now, when we come to the About Us page, you can click on it. If you want to make changes there, simply click on Edit with Elementor. This is the About Us page. You can start by changing the heading here. If you want to change this to just be About, you can click here and remove the Us. You can change this background image here from the books to something else you can change that change all of these replace the images and all that so that is how you build a website in 10 minutes so there you have it that is how to make a website in 2024 in under 10 minutes please make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video, hit on the notification bell, and if you have any question whatsoever, post them in the comment section. God bless you.